So in this video, we're gonna go over some ways to find people on LinkedIn who are showing high intent for um, a topic and you can scrape them, turn them into email addresses and do all that kind of stuff. So there's basically three really easy ways to find people who have intent for a like topic. And so one, you could find LinkedIn posts that have a lot of likes on them and you could target everybody that liked those LinkedIn posts. Two, you could find events that have a lot of attendees and then target the people who attended those events. And then three, you can find LinkedIn groups and you could target the people who are members of those LinkedIn groups. And so each one, uh, you can scrape all of them with a tool called Phantom Buster. And so that's essentially what we're gonna be going over today. The, my big warning with this, this messaging is remember that these people are showing intent for the topic. The influencer who has um, gotten you know, their attention, uh, they've worked hard on getting their attention. They've worked hard to get the event. Do not run this playbook and say, oh, like if you're interested in Eric Nozlowski, you would be way more interested in me. Just know, hey, they have intent for what you're trying to sell. You know, if there's a huge LinkedIn post about um, somebody saying, you know, hey, I wish Excel were easier to use, and then 2,000 people liked that post, that is a perfect situation where you could go in and you could say, hey, we made Excel a lot easier to be able to use. Here you go. I wouldn't even mention the post. Like, they they liked the post. Like, don't even mention the post. You know that they, they have the intent. Um, but so for a situation where, like, I'm going to show you this, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't reach out to people off of this post with this situation where I'm saying, Hey, I've booked a, a webinar with Alex Armozzi. Do you want to attend? Like, don't, don't scrape these people and be like, Oh, it looks like you're interested in, in cold outreach strategies. Like I'm trying to build something here. Like, why would you scrape that? Like I said, the, like the best ones to scrape are when people are like, Oh, I wish this was easier. And then you could say like, yes, we did make it easier. And, and like, you're truly being helpful. So that's my caveat, like one minute caveat. So the way you would do this, honestly, is you just go to phantombuster.com. And then let me just log in and you'll see the, the phantoms in phantom buster and they, they are so easy to use. You just need to know that they exist. So if you want to find people who like the post, see how it says LinkedIn post like or export, you can use this phantom and all you have to do is just paste your session cookie, which you just got to get. And then in the next step, I'm not going to show my session cookie in the next step, you just would hit this. And you hit copy link to post, and then you're going to get an export of all of the people who like this post. You're going to get their name and you're going to get their LinkedIn profile. Then you could just take it over to Clay and just find their email addresses. Super, super easy to get that done. Um, same thing. So with events, it's the same thing. So Excel, let's use the same. So let's use the same criteria, right? So we want to look for Excel, think faster, talk smarter. Online Excel training, 192 attendees. Great. So same exact playbook is you would come in here and instead of using this one, and we're not going to save this. Whoops. So instead of using that one, we're just going to come over here and we're going to hit event, LinkedIn event guest export, LinkedIn event inviter. So we'll do LinkedIn event guest export. Again, you would just click on it, set it up, Grab this URL right here, put it into this phantom, and you'd be good to go. Now, the way you scrape groups is a little bit different. Having Sales Navigator is really, really helpful. And so you're actually going to use a regular search export, Sales, Nav Sales Navigator search export. But the best part about groups is that you can use groups as a filter. So I can come in here and I can say Excel, Excel Learning Group, great. 270,000 people in this Excel learning group. Great. But most of these people aren't a good fit for you. So you might want to just filter it for anybody who's in the United States. And this is why I use Sales Navigator scraping instead of just group scraping because the group is going to get you everyone and it's going to be way too annoying to do that. You don't want all of that data. You just want United States and you want owner, right? So you want an owner of a company who's in the Excel learning group. Great. We have 768 results. This is exactly what we're looking for. So now we would take this search bring it over to the sales navigator search export, and we would have owners who are interested in learning about Excel right off the bat from this sales navigator search export. Remember that sales navigator only gives you 2,500 results. So if this result is over 2,500, you have to split the search. So, well, that didn't even work. Uh, let's do this. So you would have to split the search. So see how it's 3K now? You'd have to split this so that it's like less than 2,500. So you'd go to company headcount probably, 
and like only target people that are at like one to 200 employees. Great. This is 1.5 K get this one, scrape it with Phantom Buster. Um, and then you would like delete these from it and then you'd start at 201. Whoops. 201, 501, 1000, blah, 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 blah. Great. So now this one is again going to be under 2,500. So then we could scrape that one and we'd be good to go. Uh, oftentimes, like I said, LinkedIn is just a great place to find leads. And with one tool and a dream, you can like pull all these people out. Use Clay to find their email addresses and things like that. Go watch another video of how to get that done. I'm not going to show it right now. But uh, yeah, this is a great way to find people who are already showing interest for what you um, sell or what you want to target them by or, or any of those things. And it's public. Like, it's not like we're making this up. Like we know how, how they showed intent for this. So uh, yeah, put this one to use, but do good with it. Don't, don't be annoying with it.